food. Indeed. Yeah. Pete and I found the perfect solution. Yes. So we did. We do not chop our own tree down. We ran into each other at the Gladwin Fire Department. So uh -huh. we're supporting the fire department, but we have a real tree. Okay. Right. I like that. I like and that. And I also got a fake tree. So I'm one of those 11%. 11%. So I let the kids get one with colored lights for their playroom <laughs> that they can put all the ugly ornaments there on. There you go. And not bother my beautiful tree in the living room. Look at you. <laughs> do not bother. Don't I, come near. You no, know, I still let them touch it. But, you know. Right. So we had a little bit of both. There That's you go. Right. I like that. Very nice. Yes. Very nice, ladies. Very nice. <laughs> And we're expecting a possibly down the shore a little snow. A little bit of snow, okay. good fall, okay. maybe a little coating here and there nice. down the shore tomorrow. Pretty. It's just down the shore for most of us, although can't rule out a stray snow shower making it as far back as Camden or Gloucester counties, possibly the city of Philadelphia as well. Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Center City looking all lit up tonight. It's a beautiful night. The sun is down, still a little light in the sky thanks to a clear sky this afternoon. The past few nights have been a little cloudy and it's gotten dark very, very quickly. Now we're still seeing some light out there, but of course we are headed quickly toward the shortest, shortest days of the year. And then of course we'll start to, after we get into that first day of winter, we'll start to see those daylight hours lengthen at least a little bit. But Center City, again, a little light in the sky, but it is clear, it is cold. A little brisk tonight. It's 38 degrees in Philadelphia, 37 in Wilmington, and 34 in Allentown. Atlantic City is at 36 degrees. So it's cold, and that cold is really kind of entrenched across the Northeast. 32 in State College, 28 in Buffalo, and 32 degrees in Cleveland. Scranton and Albany both in the upper 20s. Overnight, we'll drop down to a low of 27 degrees. That's a very cold night in Philadelphia. Winds are relatively light, though, so we're not dealing with those brutal wind chills, at least. At least we got that going for us. It'll be mainly clear outside for tonight and then as we head into your Wednesday partly sunny but the chance of a snow shower especially south and east in the afternoon there may even be a prolonged period of light snow down the shore it all depends on how long the outer band of this system we're tracking sticks around if it sticks around long enough possibly some light accumulations otherwise we're dealing with some pretty nasty feels like temperatures even without a ton of wind gonna wake up tomorrow morning feeling a couple degrees below what the thermometer indicates and in the afternoon we we'll hard pressed to feel any warmer than freezing you can see Feels like temperatures at 4 p.m. tomorrow, all sub freezing except for Allentown. Thursday morning, we wake up feeling like the teens and low 20s again. And even Thursday afternoon, it feels like no better than freezing once again. So some cold air on the way and it's hanging around into the weekend. Now storm scan three does show a system from a weak system moving through portions of the Midwest, producing a few snow showers as we get into tomorrow. Some of that system, some of that energy is going to dive off the coast and a new low is going to spin up and notice it's just a glancing blow and these outer bands of snow brush the coast, leading to the risk for some light snow or snow showers. And then on Thursday, a snow shower or two could pop up in our far north and west suburbs. So as far as snow Potential. We're mainly talking about portions of Burlington County, Atlantic County, and Northern Cape May County. Not much coating to an inch of snow at best, and these are in localized areas. Now, there could be some spots that possibly get a little bit more if those snow bands kind of overachieve, but there is also the chance that we see no accumulation at all, and it's just a period of light snow and snow showers. So it's not a huge deal. It's a nuisance system either way, and it's really localized to those shore points. Your eyewitness weather seven day forecast Thursday's cold again, Friday cold, and we add the wind back into the equation, and then the weekend, lots of sun, but boy, it's still very, very cold with high.